at 3.30 this afternoon, the NRM lawmakers boarded the waiting buses destined for State House Entebbe, following an impromptu invitation by President Yoweri Museveni. The meeting comes on the heels of resignations by two senior cabinet ministers last week over allegations of mismanagement of public funds in market compensation by city businessman Hassan Ibasajabalaba. Parliament adopted it. I don't think we can rescind the position of Parliament. And after all, many members of NRM uh, debated in favour of the report. And many members of the report, uh, of NRM, even before uh, the, part, uh, the report came out, had already signed petitions against the ministers. But before the MP set off for State House and Tebe, there was a crisis cabinet meeting chaired by the Vice President to harmonize positions on the ministers who resigned and the Governor Bank of Uganda to Musimia Mutebide. Cabinet normally sits on Wednesday. The position of cabinet on these ministers who have resigned were supportive to the PAC committee, which did its investigations and came up with the resolutions, eventual recommendations. And we all saw that there was a good in-depth search into the problem and we all honored the report of the PAC uh, committee and um, honored also the recommendations so that the members also saw it wise for them to step aside. However, a statement from the information minister sent out to media houses this evening indicated the cabinet indeed sat in a special session to deliberate on proposed amendments of parliamentary rules of procedure. There, are, there, has, there is no crisis. Uh, what we are dealing with are uh, items which are coming up uh, for consideration on the order paper of parliament tomorrow. Parliament recommended that the Governor Bank of Uganda to Musimio Mutebile should be relieved of his duties, but currently the Governor is said to be out of the country. We, the Cabinet Subcommittee that was put in place uh, to study the PAC report has not had the opportunity to interact with the Governor and uh, our view is that uh, they, should be given, uh, he sh they should be given the opportunity to interact with the Governor and then as Cabinet we shall come up with a position on the Governor. The governor has to defend himself. He is not yet. The governor has not been interviewed by the relevant committees. The governor was given letters of comfort. The acting government chief, Whip Daudi Migereko, says the NRM caucus will discuss amendments to the rules of procedure of parliament. Key in the amendments to the rules of procedure of parliament are provision to censor the prime minister and the vice president. We are looking at uh, the report. The, the report of the Committee of Rules, uh, which they tabled in Parliament. And as government, we have we had to uh, study this report, and uh, we want to make sure that we come out with one voice on uh, uh, some of the recommendations that uh, the committee uh, came up with. Last year, lawmakers attempted to call for a censure of the Prime Minister Maman Babazi on bribery allegations in the oil sector, but the MPs could not find provisions in the rules of procedure to eject him. Mbabaz was defended by the president saying the allegations peddled by the youth MP Gerard Karuhanga against the prime minister were false. Jingo Francis, NTV Parliament.